what's up? The garage door's opening. All right, so I just got, I just, I just had something that came through, and um, I think a lot of you need to hear this. You know, I'm here to shake shit up. I'm here to uh, help you get, be bigger than your bullshit, um, and find out why you're struggling, why you've been stuck. And uh, a lot of women, some women, unfortunately, in the uh, church community and the organized religion community, struggle the most. And you know, when they say, let me pray on it, I'm, and I'll say, let's pray right now. Because let me tell you something, don't bring God into this. Uh, don't bring your Savior into this, because right now, you've been praying, this has been given to you, so take heed. The reason your life hasn't worked out is because you've been praying, but you ain't been listening. God can't help someone that's ignorant. You see what I'm saying? But your trauma, the thing that gets to be cleared out, the devil, if you will, if you're, since you're in religion, it's got you right now. Confusion, uncertainty, and self-doubt and all those heavy feelings is Satan, is dark, is the enemy. Okay, just to, just to give you an update on what the organized religious terms mean. Okay, so don't bring God into this. Okay, okay, because I work with the God force energy. I work with love. That's why we have so many testimonials in people's lives improving from years where they've been in church and they've been doing therapy, but nothing has worked. It's where they've gone to therapy. They've gone to PTSD. They've gone to the, the clinics and, and trying to get off drugs and, and medication. But the second they allow the real big G to come up in here, instead of being in their little ego mind where the where the, where the enemies got you. Yeah, don't bring God into this. We'll pray right now together. Don't, don't, like, how dare you? It's almost blasphemy. I'm going to pray about this. Don't bring God and Jesus into this. Don't bring Allah, whatever Savior you believe. Don't bring Mary into this. They've tried to help you. Your spirit guides are literally going, fuck. Should we send her another tragedy so she wakes up? Should we send her a near-death experience? What's it going to take? Do you see what I'm saying? So whether it's me or it's another program that you know you need to do that you haven't, you're just scared to fucking do it. Go back and listen to this. If you try to make decisions out of uncertainty, doubt, well, let me just do this one. This is cheaper. Do you see what you're doing? You're making a decision out of fear. What do you think that's going to get you? More fear. Well, how, Casey, how do I do it then? You ask yourself, if I put aside the self-doubt and the, un the uncertainty, and I knew that these heavy feelings weren't true, what do I want to be true? What feels better? Okay, that feels better. That feels better that there's always going to be money to support me. I'm going to learn how to, where this came from so that it never happens again. I'm going to win. This is my year. Whatever you want it to be, but decide who your 2.0 version of yourself is and show up a fucking accordingly. Okay, that's how you shift energy and that's how you quantum leap and that's how you break cycles. I have to do a lot of shit scared. Okay, and I know that those heavy feelings are shit that gets to be cleared out and I know that those heavy feelings are heavy fucking feelings. But, I mean, if we just were going to do things based on feelings, I wouldn't be in the fucking gym right now because I didn't feel like working out. I don't feel like brushing my teeth either, but I had to do that too. So take key, but don't bring God into this.